Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what is a server socket. Now in the previous tutorial, we saw this diagram where we understood the concept of a socket, which is simply an endpoint of communication between two devices or machines or applications, right? And we also saw that uh, for two applications or machines to communicate with each other over a network, they need to have a socket at each end. Okay, so we need a socket at the sending end as well as at the receiving end, right? Now, in this tutorial, we are going to see how a connection is established between a client and a server via sockets and what is the role of a server socket in it, right? So let's see an example. Let's say we have a client and a server and a network in between. Now, we want our client and server to talk to each other by sending and receiving messages over this network, right? And we also know that uh, for doing that, we need to have a socket object at both the ends, right? So let's say we have a socket at the client side. Now on the server side, the server doesn't have a socket initially. Okay. What it has is a server socket, right? And the job of a server socket is to wait for incoming client connection requests, right? So there is no socket at the server initially. The server only has a server socket object and the job of a server socket is to wait for incoming client connections. Okay. So the socket over here on the client side will try to establish a connection with the server by sending a request and the server socket will be waiting for that request. And as soon as it gets the request, it will accept the request. And after the request is accepted, a socket object will be created on the server side, right? So this is the overall architecture. So initially there is no socket on the server. There is only a server socket, which will be waiting for incoming client connections. And after accepting a connection, a socket object will be created on the server side. And once a so socket ob object is created, uh, the connection will be established between those two socket objects and the client and server can start sending and receiving messages, right? So some of the key points regarding the server socket are that it waits for incoming client connection requests and it accepts connections and a socket object is created, right? So guys, this is a simple client server implementation. We can also have a peer to peer implementation where the server will be in the center and uh, there will be multiple clients connecting to the server. So in that case, the server socket will be constantly waiting for incoming client connections and it will go on accepting the connections and it will also uh, route messages from one client to another. So that is also possible. But for now, uh, we are just looking at a simple client server implementation. So thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial. If you like my tutorials, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.